To remove liquidity from Uniswap v3, it takes two steps. Calling the function burn to update the position, and then calling collect to actually transfer the tokens. In this video, we will write some code for the function burn. So when we call this function burn, it will update the amount of tokens owned. This function will take in three parameters, tick lower, int 24, tick lower, int 24, tick upper, and u int 128, the amount of liquidity to burn, amount. And then it will return the amount of tokens that we can remove for burning this much amount of liquidity. u int 256, amount 0, and u int 256, amount 1. We also want to add a reentrancy lock, so I'll use the modifier lock. And the first thing that we'll need to do is call the internal function modify position underscore modify position and then we'll pass in the struct modify position params the owner will be message.sender tick lower will be tick lower from the input tick lower and tick upper will also be from the input tick upper and then liquidity delta liquidity delta this will be the amount of liquidity that we're going to be removing and since we're removing liquidity, we need to cast this uint128 to a negative number. So to do that, we'll first cast amount into uint, uint256 amount. And then we'll cast this uint256 into int256, int256. At the moment, this number is positive, so we'll make it negative by adding a minus sign. And lastly, we'll cast it to int128 by saying dot to int128. We can do this because if we go up top, inside here, we said for int 256, we're going to use a library called safecast. And safecast implements this function to cast int 256 into int 128. Okay, the function modify position returns three parameters. The first output is position.info. We'll store this into memory, and then we'll call it position. The next two outputs are the amount of tokens to be removed for removing this much amount of liquidity. Int 256 amount 0. Since we already declared amount 0 over here, you'll say over here that this is amount 0 int, since this is of type int 256. And int 256 amount 1 int. Now when we call the function modify position with liquidity delta being a negative number, we expect amount 0 int and amount 1 int to be negative. So the next thing that we'll do is cast these into positive numbers. Say amount 0. Amount 0 is a variable of type uint256. So to cast this into uint256, you'll say uint256. Amount 0 int, we expect this to be negative. So we take the negative of a negative number to make it positive. Amount 0 int. And we'll do the same for amount 1. Amount 1, uint256, take the negative of amount 1 int. And lastly, we'll update the position. So this position memory should be storage, since we're going to be updating this position. And we'll say if amount 0 is greater than 0, or amount 1 is greater than 0, then we'll update position.tokens old 0 and position.tokens old 1. This will be equal to the new position dot tokens old zero will be the current one position dot tokens old zero plus amount zero and likewise for position dot tokens old one plus amount one and that completes the function burn now notice that this function does not transfer any tokens when we call this function to actually transfer the tokens we'll have to call the function collect which we will discuss this in the next video. So for now, let's try compiling the contract. Open my terminal and then type forge build. I see a compilation error over here. So let's check what mistake I made. Amount 0 and amount 1 should be casted into uint128. 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 Okay, let's try compiling the contract again. Forge build. And our contract compiled successfully. So that completes the function burn. 